What's going on, y'all? Man, it's LA Rich, and we back with another video, man. And look, today, we got the one and the only Charlie Kirk back on the channel, man, with him doing a video title. College liberal gets educated after peddling white privilege lie. Now, look, we see numerous people always talking about this. Um, and to be honest, it's really always the same exact way they go about speaking about it you know the topic this topic is just it's numerous things people can say about it man but a lot of them always have the same kind of input on the topic but the ones that have a different one it is just completely i mean extremely different to say the least but we are gonna see what this guy has to say right here about just the white pri just white privilege and everything but before we get into it what i want to say is thank y'all so much for helping me hit 12.8 thousand subscribers we on the road to 12.9 now i appreciate y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day it truly means the most to me nonetheless we gonna go ahead and get into this video y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know some more videos to react to whether it's from charlie kirk or anybody else and i got y'all with it man but hey enough of the talking let's do it come to a state like Arizona, live here, and Tucson, when we had, and say there's no such thing as white privilege or racism, when there's been not one, but two laws that have been de deemed racist by a federal, law, uh, federal lawyer in the past 11 years. And here's the law. I, I know you go after people, man, and I got my facts. Buckle up. All right, cool. <laughs> So in 2003, Tucson Unified School District created a program called Mexican American Studies. You know what it is? Sounds pretty self-evident. Uh, it's, it's, it's critical race theory we are against. Okay. So in 2000, it was made to close the achievement gap for Latino students, for European American students. Tucson has 75% Latino students. In 2007, we caught up. This is right around the time where Tom Horn, the state superintendent, saw this. He called, these races, he called these classes racist, teaching the overthrow of the government. They were, they, he lied and said they were segregating these schools, segregating the students. But here's the thing, he never went to a class. And he tried three different times, in 2007, 2008, 2009. And by 2010, Governor Jan Bruce signed the law that banned these classes. The only reason why he saw this, because he saw that Latinos were catching up. In 2010, in, 2000, right. in 2017, a federal uh, judge deemed that the law was racist and that his whole point of view was racist and it, it was the 14th Amendment that was wrong for us. He deemed these classes that were racist the whole time. So I wanna know, how can you come here and tell me there's no such thing as white privilege and no such thing as racism? Easily. There's no such thing as white privilege or racism. So. <laughs> Uh, there's racism, but it's not institutional. I mean, so, so are you saying the judge was wrong? Of are course. You I mean, your judges so, could be wrong all the time without specific knowledge of what you're talking about with that. But here's the most about? obvious way I could debunk what you're saying, which is you assume Jan Brewer signed it because she hates Latino people. Is that right? It came out that she has. It's been proven. Hold on a second. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What evidence do you have that Jan Brewer hates Latino people? If you go watch the documentary about Raza studies. What? It's been, go, go watch the... Go watch the documentary it's called Raza Studies. It's about Mexican American studies. Oh, oh, La Raza Studies? Raza Studies. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, not, not exactly well versed in that, but. What's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Okay. It sounds interesting. Um, but I suppose the question is would, Jan, would there be another expl explanation for Jan Brewer doing that? Or are you going to blame She racism? signed another law called SB 1070. So what about SB 1070? What's wrong? Do you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers when well, I've never even been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin Okay, color. so who, so then we go, here's white privilege. Why is who, that white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they gonna ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. Yeah, well, I, I get, can show you my pile of Do you get asked papers. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's You're license, okay? So, but here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I, I, 
Do you really think that you're you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled over to, too. You're never you're never gonna know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never gonna have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the the reason I think he's saying that that he gets pulled over and they ask for his papers. I think what the main thing he's forgetting about that is that them asking for ideas still a paper too you get what i'm saying i mean we're getting identified they're trying to see if we're actually u.s citizens it's just that it's in the form of an id card it's the same thing but i i get i know what he's trying to say is actual you know documentation that you're that you're here stuff like that but it's still the same way if they're asking for an id Wait, hold You're on. never going to have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim. Okay, you're looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try and disempower you. And I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never gonna call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is gonna be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right, so you know how it's gonna be Hold different? On. It's gonna be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right, you and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. That whole airlines thing, man, it's just, bro, I, I don't get it at all, man. It's, I mean, it, why should it have to come to that, bro? If it shouldn't be you're looking for a specific race, if they can fly a plane and they know how to fly a plane, they should be a pilot there it shouldn't be no well we're looking for this specific race this specific ethnicity or anything man if if anybody come up there and they know how to fly a plane let them fly that damn plane man it shouldn't you shouldn't be looking for nothing look for the best flyers that's it that's all i love how you turn it around after i threw facts at you you're telling to go backwards like this but the facts is it's there the yeah. fact is that these laws that you say that were good, I never been, said they, I never said they were good. First are they good all, laws? Said, you're, you're, wait, you're turning it around. I, I said they you're very turning, well could have been repealed for around. other reasons than racism. But I am saying this: that you're saying that it's a more difficult journey. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying right now in America, you have every opportunity. In fact, it's even more than that. You have preference as a person of color. It's easier for you to succeed than your white counterpart in this room right now. You are given a hand up. You are given discrimination in your favor right now. I, I, that's 100% that's not true, bro. It's that BS that you'd be teaching right now. Thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate it. All right, enough. All right, I don't know who she's saying. All right, thank you. Next. Who, the, who is that? <laughs> All right, enough. All right, I don't know who she's saying. All right, thank you. Next question. Appreciate it. And, and let me just say this is the final thing. I encourage you to really think deeply and say, why do I, why? Th th thanks for coming. I, I encourage you to ask this. Is like, you say that the journey will be different regardless of skin color. And I, how about this? For our Latino conservatives here, do you, do you, do you like when you hear stuff like this? He doesn't like, and, and by the way, I just encourage, and he's darker, so he's, he, yeah. And so, by the way, can you come up? Can you come up to the line? Go, go to the line, yeah. Okay. 
So I just want to ask our friend, our volunteer, our turning point. Can, can, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Fuentes. Da Daniel Fuentes. <laughs> Daniel. Our journey's different. Does skin color matter? Our journeys are all different, bro, because like you say, you know, we're one united under God. You know, I have been pulled over by cops many times. Most 99%, 0.9% of the times, these cops have treated me in the nicest ways. Cops that are probably look nothing like me. Um, you know, every single turning point event that I have been to, um, where obviously I can tell all of my Caucasian brothers and sisters they have treated me in the nicest of ways. It has always been always whites kind of on the left that have always mistreated me. I've gotten more mistreat from whites on the left than on the right for being a Latino conservative. God bless you and thank you, Dan. Thank you both. Appreciate it. Hey, we'll get to the next question. I mean, he said it straight though. He said it straight. Hold on. Let's see what um, people got to say in the comments. Let's see. Let's see what people are talking about. This generation always wants to play the victim card. Accusing someone of having white privileges, judging someone based on their skin color. Literally giving systematic advantages. Um, yeah, still claiming to be oppressed. I got my facts. Dude actually cooked himself. As an Hispanic, we do not claim that crybaby. Hispanics people never hold on to the past. We move forward and flourish. Um, he wants to be a victim. All right, man. I. It's just, man... I wouldn't, you shouldn't want to sit there and hold yourself to that standard. You know, sit there and talk about yourself as you, as if you're the biggest person in this world. Stop trying to put yourself under people. Talk about yourself as if you're above everybody on this planet, man. I, I just hate that, bro. He has a chip on his shoulder. He will never listen to the facts. Um, so damn tired of wet behind the ears, young students arrogantly approaching the microphone like they're going to school their elders. I know how you go after people and I got my facts. He practiced that in the mirror. <laughs> hey, man. But this guy's debate making me cringe when he says papers. Yeah, man. I mean, papers is identification, bro. Identification. Everybody in this. If if the bigger problem would be if you got pulled over and they didn't ask you for your ID, that's that's a bigger problem in itself. So, yeah, man. But. Thank y'all so much for um, all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, that's going to go ahead and close out the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some more Charlie Kirk videos to react to or anybody else that does the baits. And I got y'all with it. But hey, it's LA Rich and I'm getting up out of here, man. All right, y'all. In my pockets filled with money, bitch, that fucking